Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. This is Aman here and I'm a data scientist. In this video, I want to draw your attention towards some of the most searched items on the keyword machine learning use case. Okay. So if you see here, guys, people are searching machine learning use cases in banking, in manufacturing, example, software development, industry, sales, marketing, mechanical, many things people are searching, right? So I just want you to understand what is the core, you know, concept that you should know behind all this. So let me take you to one simple Excel sheet, guys. Okay. So come here in this Excel sheet, you will see that I have created two lines here. One is horizontal and one is vertical. Okay. And my idea here is I want to show you what are the different, different use cases possible and how horizontal and vertical are different. So in vertical, I have put different industries guys. Okay. For example, finance industry here, it can be a bank or an insurance company or, a, uh, or any kind of financial institution. Okay. Manufacturing, it can be a, a car manufacturer, or it can be a, a companies like Cisco who manufacture some devices in telecom. It can be different kind of telecom companies in pharma. It can be different pharma companies, right? And on horizontal, I have put what will be the different areas of use cases that can be done on all this space okay for example in finance customer analytics what kind of use cases can be done and that is exactly what people are searching here machine learning use cases in banking machine learning use cases in manufacturing machine learning use cases examples right so my idea of this video is to give you a thought process right so for example if i come to finance and customer analytics right so what you can do, for example, let's take an example of HDFC bank, just an example. So if you are a data scientist, what you can do for HDFC bank in customer side. Okay. So you can do maybe uh, customer, uh, you know, clustering or segmentation. Okay. This can be one huge case, or maybe you can do, uh, you know, uh, you can find out which customers will tend to default based on their past behaviors. This kind of analysis you can do in customer in marketing analytics, what you can do when it comes to finance industry. So in finance, finance industry, you can, you can do some analysis on what was the response of the last marketing campaign. For example, um, HDFC bank is launching a mobile app and they are doing a lot of marketing for that mobile app. What was the response for that? How we can improve that, right? Supply chain may not be applicable here in finance industry. However, if we come to manufacturing, then supply chain can be applicable for pharma. Also supply chain can be applicable. This is not a complete list guys in horizontal. Also, many things can be there in vertical. Also, many things can be there. What I want you to understand here is tomorrow you might be going in one of these sectors, either finance, manufacturing, telecom, pharma. And when, once you get promoted, right, once you are at a senior position in data science, then it's not like you will be given some huge case and you work on that huge case and your job is done. No, you have to think through what else we can do, how we can grow our business. What is the new thing I can propose to the customer or stakeholders? All these things you should understand. And you know, you will be able to understand that only when you have a broader, broader understanding of what all are possible in all these areas and that understanding I'm trying to open. Okay. So since people are, searching all these so it is my duty and it is all people who want to share their knowledge it's their duty to kind of give the insight of for example i have written just only one use case customer segmentation there can be hundreds of use cases or let's say 50 of use cases in customer analytics so what are different use cases can be there in manufacturing what all different use cases can be there so that a fresher somebody with limited exposure to industry can can get things right that is the reason guys i bring a lot of experts in my channel okay so if you see i have brought some insurance industry expert i have brought some other experts on my channel to talk about what all they are doing in their day-to-day -day job okay and having said that i have created few videos already for example i have just saved the url here i have created a video called social media analytics overview the link is here i have just pasted for my reference data science project in marketing see this is exactly what people are searching here if you see here in place of data science they are just writing uh, 
they are just writing machine learning that is the only thing they are doing machine learning projects in marketing they might be searching sales and marketing this video i have created i have created social media video i have created some other videos as well so i i request you guys i will paste all these you can see in cards also i will paste in this description also first thing is just go ahead and see these these three four videos okay watch these three four videos customer analytics overview what i am talking there okay i am talking nothing but i am trying to open your thought process on what all we can fill now all the things cannot be applicable in this excel sheet guys all the things cannot be applicable for all the vertical industries okay some of these can be applicable only for finance some can be applicable only for manufacturing right so this the idea of this you know huge cases or these videos here is to give you that thought process so okay. just watch these three four videos guys and also i know all of you are coming from various backgrounds comment me comment me right away after this what are the different areas in which you are working and what are the different areas you want me to either bring experts in my channel or i should speak about these huge cases by my own research so that you are able to think through this table here this table is really really important guys okay so once i saw that people are searching these these terms these terms are frequently searched items i just thought of you know creating a video around what is available on my channel and what what should be the next video that i should create on this this line actually okay so just drop me a comment what what area i should create i hope you like this video guys give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet I'll see you all guys in the next video till then wherever you are stay safe and take care